Today we are on a field trip to the film festival up here in Yachtville. It's a really fun time. It's actually been pretty good. I really liked the I Self film. It was like inspiring. Yeah, and the food's really good too. Having the opportunity to come together and have a shared experience like this I think is incredibly valuable. And they're each getting that unique perspective and then able to have this sort of discourse afterwards I think is the most important part. They're inspiring, they open doors to creativity, plus we have a lot of budding possible filmmakers and people who just love movies in the mix. We're in a TV production class and we do a lot of interview based videos so it's kind of nice to see these people who did it and they show that they can do it and that it's a possibility and not so much a dream. We're part of the team press through our journalism class at school so we'll be getting to do some sit down and red carpet interviews. Today we're actually going to interview Science Bob so it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be like our first real interview. I think that when a film festival like, like Napa Valley Film Festival is able to take educational films and bring them out into the community, into high schools especially, it's really a great opportunity for them and for the filmmaker to learn about their film from an audience that is direct and honest and uh, they're going to tell you like it is. They mean something. You know, being an alternative school sometimes has its challenges. And so for them to say, look, the film festival is at Valley Oak High School. They're with you. They're here. It brings a joy to them. This film really exposes and provides opportunities for students to look beyond the borders of Napa Valley. It was really interesting to actually see how someone who came to Vintage High School was able to make a movie and produce something that is actually meaningful to students like myself. It felt like the students were excited to talk to somebody who actually came from where they are and, and is doing something creative and fun. The things that come to my mind I, uh, is how special a community Napa is to be able to have a film festival. You know, I think this was an opportunity today not just to have college access and success conversation, but also to think about there's some part of themselves that they can see in a filmmaker. Um, who's done such a successful project. The wonderful thing about film is how, how people get pulled into it. The way that it allows us to connect students with content is really unique and such a rich jumping off point for teachers to talk about that content in the classroom afterward. And film is such like a universal language. Everybody can relate to it. It impacts everybody personally when they watch films and so I wanted to bring that culture at my school. What I hear all the time is people just go to a movie just to see it, to pass time. It's better sometimes with some certain movies to take away something bigger than just what you saw. You know that you have such an amazing mind and we don't use them to our full advantage. There's so many things in the world that could be improved. It really doesn't matter how young you are to make a big difference in the world. If you're passionate about it, you can do it. The opportunity to come back and show it to students and look at those students and remember exactly sitting in those seats. I think it's, it's really powerful for me, um, and I hope that the students get something out of it too. I'm really appreciative of the film festival's role here in our county just because of the uh, incredible cultural opportunities that it affords our students. For them to, to look at the film, analyze it, answer some questions, dialogue with the teacher or the classmates back and forth, that's what makes the education program as part of the Napa Valley Film Festival critical.